Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Leo Sun, a uh, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for June 3rd to a uh, June 9th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and we can go uh, straight away to the spread. Alright, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for Leo's uh, week, that will be the uh, Justice card, followed by the second one which stands for the challenges that Leo needs to overcome throughout the week, we have the Queen of Swords. On the third position sits the Ten of Wands which is the positive aspect Leo are going to experience throughout the week. And uh, the last card, which stands for the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Leo, that will be uh, the death card. So uh, once again, we do have the justice as the topic of the week, followed by the queen of swords, which is the challenges throughout the week. Afterwards, we do have the ten of wands, which is the uh, positive aspect of the week. And uh, finally, we do have the death card once again as a, a guidance from Tarot. All right, so, um, well, this could go in a couple of ways. Leo, uh, this is a week where the challenge itself is not much of a challenge. Um, what, these, what these cards are pointing is that you are going to have that astute discernment throughout the week in regards to your uh, responsibilities and tasks as well. And uh, for that reason, uh, it seems that you are going to decide that it is better to do everything by yourself or on your own, that is. So you can uh, you, you do not share, you know, the benefits or the rewards from the work uh, that you are going to do. And this is where the challenge really resides with this person, Queen of Swords, <clears throat> which is to try to, let's say, convince you, you know, to get her, uh, to get her or it could be him as well, you know, it is a person, to get that person into your th team as well, or into the endeavor, into the endeavors that you are uh, going to proceed with throughout the week. So the first card, that will be uh, the justice, and this is the topic itself. And uh, first of all, the justice points that obviously the justice law and order are going to be in place. Therefore, if you are going through some sort of a, uh, a legal matters, you can expect that throughout the week, you know, uh, if until this very moment, this legal matter is based on a lies, that the truth is going to shine, you know, and everybody is going to get what they deserve. <clears throat> or at least this is the direction that the, uh, that the legal matters are going to take off. But uh, the, um, the justice here represents as well the, like I, like I said, the student discernment of that you recognize, you know, what is substantial for yourself, for your life and for uh, the growth in a short, in, in the near future, I would say, not in the short term, but rather in uh, for the near future. And therefore you focus on those substantial priorities that are essential to be attended at this very moment and leave those which kind of can wait 
uh, for a, a later date, that is. Uh, additionally to that, the justice here points that you will somewhat be very, very accountable towards yourself and towards uh, any situation that you are involved in. Therefore, it doesn't look like that you will have, how do you, uh, how do you say it, any regret of any kind of decisions that you are to make throughout the week. The accompanied card here, that will be the King of uh, Cups here formation. It is a active neutrals that we have. And what the King of Cups points that any kind of opportunity that presents to you, should an opportunity presents to you throughout the week, although I don't think so, uh, but should an opportunity presents to you throughout the week, then that opportunity is completely based um, or it is created by you, by yourself. You created it by yourself, therefore you don't, um, own any appreciate, owe any appreciation or you know gratitude to anybody around you. You worked for it, you got it. But that is, uh, this is a very um, optional card. The King of uh, the King of Cups here in this uh, in this reading. I do believe that the week itself is not going to have any new opportunities for you guys. It's more like that you are going to, um, like I said. Uh, discern what is substantial for what is not and therefore you are going to make your life much more productive than uh, than right now <clears throat> focusing on more the immediate tasks rather than on the tasks that can actually wait and so the challenge here it is the queen of swords uh, that is a, a person obviously so uh, this person seeing how productive you are becoming or also how organized you know you are becoming there are two ways how the person could approach you first uh, first way is that they are going to be afraid all right they're going to be afraid that uh, you can um, move along without them all right uh, and that you are going to become more successful than them now depending on which way they are going to approach this situation uh, they could be either a competition, you know, or a, not a rivalry exactly, but more like a, um, how do you say a person who always tries to impress you, right? It's something like an, an admirer or uh, someone who, who wants to convince you that they, they should be around you, right? Something like that. Uh, therefore, you need to know that the Queen of Swords it is a, a very emancipating person very in tune with the the newness the new inventions in the world the, the new ways of how people that does things and how uh, things works in general and it is a very tenacious as well i mean this this person knows how to push their things through so if they uh, place as a goal for themselves that they have to be in your team then it means that uh, they will stop in front of nothing to achieve that specific uh, that specific goal the accompanied card here that will be the judgment and uh, the formation is a uh, active um, active and active uh, friends excuse me so this is how that thing now plays out with the judgment here we do have a little bit of a um, different interpretation and it stands for that um, well I will try to explain it with an, an example here so let's say you try to open up uh, a business, right? And you approach either an investor or someone that you wanted to cooperate with, and you display them, they uh, divulge them uh, your uh, your idea for business, and they said, "No, you are it, this this thing doesn't isn't gonna work, you know, and we are not gonna contribute into it." So you did not give up on it <clears throat> and you decide to try it on your own, you know, without that person that you approached previously. And actually this business starts to take off. So that person sees the mistake they have done back in the days, right? Where they denied you of uh, cooperating with you or investing in that business. And now they are trying with everything that they can to, um, <clears throat> to take a participation into it. And the challenge for you is going to be to deflect them, right? In any case, the challenge will be to deflect this Queen of Swords, to take any participation whatsoever into your deeds. Because the more people you involve into those deeds, either career or relationship-wise, the more people you have to share the benefits and the rewards of these deeds afterwards. 
So we go to the positive aspect of the week and that will be the Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands here points to whatever you are to work over, either career-wise or relationship-wise uh, throughout the week is going to be rather very, very fruitful and with a, a big possibility to grow. Now, it is uh, essential that you, like I said, have that discernment of what is uh, what is substantial and what is not, because with the Ten of Wands, there are going to be way too many things that you can attend to, and that's why you will need to differentiate what needs immediate attention and what can wait. Because you may find yourself in a spot where you have too many things to attend to and therefore have no time whatsoever for neither of those things to develop by their or at their very end or at their very best. So when it comes to the Ten of Wands uh, here as a positivity, uh, it seems that you are to recognize, you know, very well, if I may express it that way, in which tasks that lies ahead that you already have, you know, the most, the biggest productivity resides and therefore you are to strive into those tasks, leaving the others uh, aside and by doing so, you are to drop a, a very heavy burden off your chest. The accompanied card here, that will be the King of Swords, the formation, it is a uh, active uh, friends and actually these cards speaks, they, they, they don't speaks, they yell for power. It seems that by you organizing your priorities and deeds, guys, and excluding, you know, this person who did not place hope within you, but now they regret that decision, you know, you are to become a, a person of authority, a person of, of power, a person who calls the shot into a certain situation, either a project into your career or why not into your relationship in general. Uh, the thing with this uh, combo here, is that you will be extremely aware uh, of the true nature of the position where you are finding yourself at. You will be extremely aware of what you can push forward with, you know, and what you need help with as well, or what should be left to develop a bit further. Therefore, through careful analysis uh, over, you know, your current situations that you're going to make throughout the week and being not careful, but rather thorough and meticulous uh, with the deeds and responsibilities you're going to attend to, uh, your way out of difficulties, if I may express myself that way, is going to be revealed to you. And that itself uh, is going to drastically um, transform your um your either career or your either your relationship in general the position that you are finding yourself at that is displayed here with the guidance which is the death card so um as as you move along you know and and, and attend to those responsibilities and tasks and deeds either career or relationship wise or maybe in both you will start realizing that there are outdated methods and outdated people as well that are taking place into those uh, into those endeavors and therefore i do believe that purge will be needed here or you will have to burn those bridges with those outdated methods outdated um as well uh perceptions i don't know how to say it um outdated beliefs if i may express it that way and as well outdated people who are serving no purpose whatsoever but just polluting your world with uh, with weakness. The accompanied card here, that will be the King of Pentacles formation. It is a, a passive friend that we do have. And um, the guidance tells you also that right now in this week, it is very important that you consolidate or rather solidify your current achievements. Because afterwards, going forward with the future, probably you are going to be devoured by uh, by the progress and as well the growth of uh, your tasks and your responsibilities. So this is probably why for the majority of you, Leos, there won't be any new enterprises throughout the week, all right? <clears throat> but rather you will have to use the time and the week itself to uh, secure that project you are working over, to secure that person that you're dating with, you know, to secure the, the, the relationship that is. Uh, 
uh, to, uh, for example, to secure on, on your idea as well that you're trying to push forward with or to your business. Instead of trying to uh, seek a new field of growth, you do have still a lot of room uh, into your current uh, undertakings, a room to grow by. And that's why you have to maximize it throughout this week before you actually turn your glance toward a new field to conquer. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for May uh, 3rd to May, uh, not May, June 3rd, excuse me, to June 9, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.